Hi there, it's Peter here again. You're watching the Scroll Magic 101 free online course for front end developers and designers where you will learn the basics of Scroll Magic API in under 50 minutes. In this video, you will learn how to use the setPin method, how to pin elements not just once but multiple times. We will learn more about pinning in the more advanced demos from the workshop like this overwrapping section using clipping and the pen revealing animation as well, which is using a little bit different technique, but still looks like elements are pinned and then revealed at the right time. And the more advanced, the most advanced project of the workshop, which is this awards websites deconstruction one pager. As I mentioned, we'll learn more about pinning in these advanced demos, but let's start with the baby steps and create a simple pin for our head. We'll go back to the JavaScript and just under the controller, we'll start new code, pin the intro. We'll create a variable, call it pin intro scene equals new scroll magic scene. And inside of it, again, we'll create an object where we define some settings, but underneath we'll use the dot set pin this time. Okay, we want to pin the intro, the element with intro ID, and then we adding this scene to a controller again. And inside of the scene, we'll define the trigger element. We want to pin the intro element and we'll set the trigger hook to be the top of the page. Okay, so trigger hook zero will pin the intro to the top of the page because that's where it is on a page load. If I refresh the page and scroll down, you see that the starting label is coming into the view and the image is fading in, but then disappears. And the reason is because our content is overlapping and doesn't have any background color. So let's go back to the style sheet and target the main, give it a position relative and a background color white. And this will give it a nice white background so we can see it on top of the pinned element. Okay. The triggering of the fading in works exactly the same way. We haven't changed anything there. Just the top section, the intro is now pinned to the top of the viewport. Okay, so the upcoming projects are sliding on top of it. Now let's try to unpin the head after we scroll down around 30% of the window height. So let's go back to the JavaScript, enter comma after trigger hook and define the duration and set it to 30%. And let's see what we've got in a browser. Okay, refresh the page, I'm scrolling down and we'll see that the first 30% of the scrolling, nothing is happening. And then the head becomes unpinned. So we don't have any more the projects coming on top of the head. Okay. We can override it by setting push followers to false. And then we'll again make the projects sliding on top of the intro and then unpinning the head after the 30% of scrolling. If we review that in a web developer tools, you will see that the pin element has some styles calculated by scroll magic. The size of it, the position is changed to fixed and it's also wrapped in a scroll magic pin spacer. Okay. Again, that calculates the position and when to unpin it. Scroll magic does a lot of the calculations for us. So we don't have to do anything else. Just set the duration trigger hook and the trigger element and scroll magic does the rest. Okay. We can also combine multiple pin elements so we can pin one element multiple times as long as we in control when we want to pin it again. Okay. So we're pinning it now it moves up and let's say roughly now we want to pin it again and then the project to go again on top of the intro. Okay. That's quite simple. Let's see if you can figure it out. Okay. Pause the video and let's see if you can write another scene where we pin the intro again, but 
the trigger hook might be something else, the trigger element might be something else. I'll leave it up to you and I'll reveal my code shortly. Here is the effect in a visual way, so you know what to create, okay? The first pin we've already created. Now let's see if you can create another pin, which lets the project slide again on top of the head. I hope you've at least tried to figure it out. And here is my code reviewed. I've simply created another scene via pin intro scene two, which is a new scroll magic scene with the trigger element being set to project zero one. So the image, not the top of the image, but the project itself is the trigger element. The trigger hook is set to 0 0.4. So roughly 40% from top of the screen, we are overlapping again the projects on top of the intro. And the set pin is exactly the same. Okay, set pin, intro, push followers set to false and then adding to controller. Okay, so this should all make sense by now. And here is it in action in a browser. Okay, we're pinning it, then we're unpinning it and then pinning it again and moving down the page. And that's how you can create multiple pins on the single element. Hope that makes sense. Feel free to review the video again. And now let's move to the next part of the workshop. We will continue exploring the Scroll Magic API in the following video. But if you want to follow me step by step, simply hop onto my website, sign up for free and download the working files. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.